So today we're in North York. I mean, this time we're up close to Young and Finch, where the Finch station is, and we're heading to a special restaurant. Before the advent of all these noodle bars and sushi bars coming in here to the Young and Finch area, there was a lot of mixtures of different cultures and different types of food. There has been very little bits of other types of food that's you know, available to the local people of the Young and Finch area. With this restaurant, we are seeing something that very lacking in Young and Finch area, and it is called Cafe and one. Hey, so okay. we got in here and today is actually a weekday so it hasn't been very busy but we did wait for a little bit of people. Now we've already dived in this um, cabal they call it. It's the cabinero spaghetti and like all cabineros there is that creamy fresh the egg yolk in there that you sort of mix it up. And since there's that egg yolk, you know that this is always fresh. This is always sort of really hot. With this one, the spaghetti almost seems like it's handmade, not your run of the mills. Get it from Loblaws or some type of spaghetti. You know how the inner spaghetti is a little hard? On the other end of the spectrum, it being very soggy, we don't want that. And the spaghetti here matches with its thick cut bacon, fresh onion and it also comes with very tasty i mean it looks good i mean yes but it is also tasty if they had this garlic bread on a side order i'd get that just on its own it's really good but i love camera spaghetti style that because you know how nowadays everything is very fusion nothing is really done the traditional way but hey all for the better because in this edition of the cabinet here and Cafe N1 is very special. You guys should order this and try it out. This is this all day breakfast type of style croissant. Why we ordered this is because look at this. Wow. And that just like, it's like so breakfasty. <laughs> I don't know if that's a word, but hmm. The egg, as you can see when I was showing you how they cook the egg inside, slowly flipping, slowly cooking it. And it turns out that the way that they did it gets the egg to remain, not only coming out as tender, but remain tender. Breakfast sandwich is a breakfast sandwich. You know, you get your croissant, you got your egg. But this one, that egg is, is crazy tender. I think the ingredients they do, it may be some sort of seaweed or something, some sort of ingredient or some kind of spice. It's very, addictive if i can call it that like you want to just keep on biting it but every time you bite into this breakfast sandwich it gives you a special meaning of a egg malt croissant sandwich it looks like it's your ordinary potato but mm, i don't know what they've done to it i call this between fries and baked potato <laughs> Because it gives you the best of both worlds. And plus the way they scatter a little bit of the sesame and other ingredients and spices on top of this. The aroma that exudes makes this seemingly ordinary potato quite special. And the salad is nothing to sniff at. The dressing may just be the best dressing I've had in a while. And they're gonna complement this with that white that we got. Mm. They must use very good beans because this flat white is pretty aromatic. It's nice. Remember how a few years back night markets, every other stand was chicken waffles? Whoa. This reminds me of that era. Although this is not waffles, this is fried chicken. And it's really good at that. But this is crawfish. It uses a croissant and batter to make waffles. That's why they call croffles. If you see my other video of Kensington Market, you see me order croffles at another very famous pastry store. Anyways, I'm gonna try their croffle here. Their croffle is actually fluffy. Because they look like they're, you know, hardish. I'm gonna eat it. It's super fluffy. I think that's what croffles do. Not like waffles when it's actually hardened 
that describes it. But this is like, like a croissant where it's fluffy and it's very airy. So now I'm gonna wash down my crackle with my I have some base coffee. That's really good. Hit the spot. These chicken, they're more on the karage style than your normal, I don't know, St. Louis fried chicken, Popeye fried chicken. And this time, go straight for this little spicy sauce here. The chicken, the user, is juicy. It's, it's so tender. I love how the batter is not very thick. I don't like it when it's just all batter. It seems like you're just eating bread, but theirs is not like that. Because you already got pastry, you got your fried chicken, you got two sauces. This dish is for somebody who can't stand being boring. I mean, this is definitely a very exciting plate. Mm -hmm. Their souffle is very special. It's made to order. Only when you order do they start from the scratch. That's amazing. And that is why this souffle looks so fluffy. <laughs> you can't really believe how, how fluffy. I mean, obviously, the main ingredient of this souffle is egg white. You can see it getting beaten and with this chocolate sauce that somehow I sort of suspected it's actually something very special as well it produces a dessert that is more watering so if you're really just this is your appetite you just want to eat something if you put this along with some cream and a special chocolate sauce Mmm. Mmm. This souffle is one of the fluffiest souffles I've ever had. If you like souffles, or if you want to just experience the fluffiness, get the flat weight. And they'll absolutely complement each other very well. Well, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please comment, like, and share. If you hear my content's pretty good, please do consider subscribing to my channel. It helps me out a lot. Bye.